What's up, guys? Mike here, MoneyMindMarketing.com. Got Carlos Redlick with us. It's so great when he introduces me because he usually just says, Hey, it's Mike from MoneyMindMarketing.com. You're getting better at this. He's getting better. I so love it. I we're taking well. in a bunch of questions today. Yeah. Um, our topic is success or failure. So, which way you want to go? I I'm pretty sure I'd like to go to the success way. It's usually the, the avenue way. I like. Everyone else either stays right here in the middle, though. They never really know where to go. And then the longer they're in this middle path, they start crumbling down. Yeah. Why? Because they lose fucking energy because they're getting older and older and older, losing their drive, and now they're going closer to failure because they never fucking pushed and hustled to get to success. If they push, they begin smarter and smarter yeah. as they go. You like that? Or or fucking good. So, we have a few questions coming in today. Um, Let's that up. <laughs> from our Facebook. Uh, this one person wants to know, how much can a university degree help in starting a business? So he's basically, fucking nothing. he's probably in a university. Um, no, yeah. Or he's thinking about going to college, but he wants to do, he knows he wants to do business. He wants to start his own business. Yeah. So what's, you know, it's, some advice from I'll you? tell you, in my own story, it's the same way. I actually went to college. I graduated. Um, I did all that. And I got my bachelor's. It was in business. And then I was going to continue on everything. But you don't learn anything. If you want to start a business and you want to start from the ground up, college is not going to teach you that. What college will do, especially in the business sector, is going to train you to be an employee. So if you want to go, let's say, what you really need is yeah. sales and marketing for any business, yeah. but those are kind of viewed upon as like the lazier <laughs> things. What's really, you know, in the upper echelon in the college degree in yeah. business is, you know, accounting, finance, shit like that. Where you're really guaranteed to be an employee. I can hire an accountant. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to make me rich. Fuck. I mean, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not going to be an accountant. Yeah. But um, if you're if you're trying to start your own business and shit, you have to figure out how to yeah. sell. College isn't going to necessarily teach you that. I went through sales courses. I did all this stuff. Short little story. I went. And I actually was going and applying I, because I was recommended by a teacher. I was uh, applying to be a sales manager for the marketing department of my university. It was like a really good position. You had to be a master's degree student currently going after a PhD. Hmm. And it was like a it was like a big thing, right? I was just not even a bachelor's degree. I was just getting I was trying to get a bachelor's degree at the time, right? But I had sales experience, I fucking hustled. And so I went in there, I actually got the interview because of the recommendation and I sent them a, a direct mail letter in a bank bag and, and attached like a dollar bill to it telling them how I'm going to make them a shit ton of money. Yeah, yeah, I was like, well, I mean, they're not going to I can send them a bank bag. Write that down. Yeah, everyone else sent a resume. I sent them a bank bag with a letter with a dollar bill attached to it. You know what I'm saying? So you're not, and I'm saying I'm going to make you like a million more of these. But um, I went in there, this guy closed the door. Now, he was the president or the chairman of this entire marketing department. Mm -hmm. He closed the door, sat down. It was like out of a movie, I swear. And he says, you know what, I, Carlos, I, I'm the head of the marketing department. We're the marketing department, and we can't sell these seminars. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. We can't sell these. No one's buying. We don't know what to do. And it's embarrassing because we're the marketing department. We can't. He kept saying it, and I was just like, oh, that's easy. No worries. Let me get your fucking contact list. I'll just hit every single person up. Within like three months, I had 40 people willing to pay $1,000 to attend this seminar. I mean, I had my little offers. Where I was like, bring your best person for free. And shit. Yeah. I packed that. And then they rescheduled. We never even threw the fucking seminar. Fucking crazy. But That's anyway, insane. the whole story of that is these people already have the degrees. They're the ones teaching you. They pulled me, the fucking salesperson hustler who just did it fucking face to face and on the internet and over the phone and shit. And they said, we need help. We yeah. can't do it. So if you want to be the person who's going to work in a university, or if you want to be trained as an employee where you're going to cap out at maybe a couple hundred thousand a year, but you're going to be working like 90, 100,000 hours, 100,000 hours a week, a ridiculous amount of hours a week where you're not going to see a family, you're not going to travel, you're not going to enjoy your money, you're going to get very overweight, you're going to get fucking blood, I've seen it from my own eyes so many times, friends I went to college yeah. with, Fucking years later, they've gotten really, you know, successful financially, but in a job position where now they're fucking getting divorces, drinking. It's a horrible lifestyle. Yeah. You know, I was like, you could have made way more money and done this shit fucking traveling to Europe, going yeah. to the Caribbean, dude. I'm like, you know, it's now, a if you're a doctor right? now, if you're a doctor, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, yeah. you know, operating in my heart and my brain. You better go get to like that 15, degree. 20 years of school. You better get that degree. Yeah, yeah no, we're sure only talking about business. Yeah. It's business crazy. wise, you don't need the degree. It's kind of like you're scared, you're kind of being a little pussy, or you're just doing it like what yeah. I did for my parents, and you're just still being a little yeah. pussy. You don't want to take action and be a man and be a woman or whatever and do it yourself. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a little excuse. 
Don't use that. If you want to be a fucking millionaire, you don't need a degree. No one has ever asked me for yeah. my degree as an entrepreneur. No one has ever done that. Kind of, I, that brings us, I don't even have it in fucking That's going to bring us to our stories. next question. Our next question was, uh, you know, how can I start a business without having, like, you know, expertise? I'm not really smart. I'm not a genius. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to college. How do I start a business from scratch? I yeah, I mean, the, a lot of people want to the easiest thing is you don't want to get caught up on all the high tech shit. You can do everything low tech. Look how we do stuff. Yeah, we do stuff on a little camera, a laptop, a phone, and a fucking piece of paper notepad where we write our notes. Really low tech. We run an operation that people would fucking die to work yeah. for, and they're like, they don't even understand how much money we make. They don't understand how we make the money because we've never seen like we're working. Yeah, right. It's all about how much action you take and all this shit, but. If you have nothing to uh, nothing to sell or you don't know how to get started really, what you want to do is find something you like. The easiest way, even if it's not going to make you a million bucks off of it, what it's going to do yeah. is going to teach you how to make a million bucks yeah. on a very low budget if you do it online. Yeah. Once right. you learn to start making money, then you can learn to start making a little bit more and a little yeah. bit more. And then once you exactly. once you get it, you kind of then it's like oh. Yeah. And oh, getting oh, started oh, now is so cheap is compared so to back in the day. You had to invest like. You know, sixty grand or fifty grand, whatever it is, millions of dollars just to have a brick and mortar location. Yeah. You can start and lose a business in like a week now, and it's great because now you can. I started, I lost it, I learned from that experience. Let's do another one. Well, that brings back to like our goal. We put out two new websites a week, just our yeah. websites. So not including the other, you know, however many sites yeah, that yeah, we do for customers plus, and things yeah. like that, um, maintenance and whatnot. But we try to put out just two new businesses a week, just us. So, yeah. And I mean, I'm not an expertise. I'm not an expert no, in yeah. any of these businesses. But if you can sell, take action. If you can develop the skill, you want to be able to have the rare. You want to be the person who can develop rare skills, right? So I'm getting a call. That's funny. <laughs> well, we're about to go on break. Anyway. Yeah. So before but, we go on yeah. break, what is the best social media to be on in today's day and age? I bet you don't know. <laughs> jump right on this question guys is what is the best social media in today's day and age to be on what is the best social media to be on I the best know. one is YouTube YouTube I didn't even know YouTube is social media yes YouTube is social media what are you talking about of course it's social media of course YouTube is number one why is it because there's you know, few... most people don't know that YouTube is a social media yeah well, Most people have no idea they don't know <laughs> they have no idea. idea they don't see the value in YouTube they just see oh it's YouTube yeah. Uh, people just YouTube go YouTube is game. huge. Businesses have yeah. been built on YouTube. Some people have such a narrow mind. They think YouTube is only built because, like, you can make, let's say you get a million followers, like, fucking some of these pranksters yeah. who are hilarious. I love them. Shout out to whoever they are. And, um, and then get a deal with YouTube. Well, that's not the yeah. only way. That's just one way to do it. That's how they do it. Yeah. The way we use it, it's actually the second uh, most searched search engine other than Google. So, so not Google... Then YouTube, YouTube, and yeah. then Yahoo, and everything, yeah, and everything and else. Facebook yeah. and Twitter, and all of those. Yeah, it's YouTube games. is number two, and the reason why we love YouTube so much is really where we get most of our traffic. So what we're doing right now is people will go on there, they'll go, they'll get to know us, they'll already have a feel of our company. They're either going to like us or they're generally going to really hate us, and that's great because then there's no then it's decisive. We only want people who want to be with us. We don't want people who are just kind of like pussies. Yeah. So. If, if you're going to be kicking ass and stuff, you got to start using YouTube because it gives you a lot of exposure. It actually attracts the type of people you want in your business, and it's going to, even more importantly, repel all of the people you do not want in your business. Yeah. And then you're kind of cut with a nice, tight-knit circle of people who are actually trying to use your services or oh, looking yeah. for you for advice or whatever. So YouTube is by far the best one out there uh, for social media. And, and this is, I mean, this is just... This is not including like when you use YouTube to send people to Facebook yeah. and shit like that, but as a straight traffic source, as a straight 
if you're not sure what to be on first, you gotta get on YouTube. So I'm gonna bring it back to, you know, if I'm, I'm not an expert, I'm going into my business, let's say I'm doing, let's say yeah. I'm a fitness trainer, some, you know, fitness. Right. Um, <laughs> Let's say, uh, you know, I'm a fitness yeah, trainer. Sure. How do I utilize YouTube? Because maybe, you know, I'm not an expert yeah. on YouTube, but how do it's, I you take YouTube? It's even easier. It's even easier. I mean, I did this with my gym and I did this with my play, my the place I worked for, my instructor in Miami, my martial arts mm-hmm. We did it for his place. And it's so much easier in a local market because the competition isn't even there. Some people put up a video a week. It's like everybody's praised so like I'm taking action. Video a, week. a video a week. And that's generally the the real high action takers in a local uh, competitive business area. So if you're a martial arts school, a gym, a fucking carpet cleaner, a plumber, whatever it is. Um, and if you start putting out at least one video a day, you will dominate YouTube. And what's really cool with that is YouTube. Let's say um, you're trying to get on Google for Jacksonville fitness trainers. Yeah. Right? And YouTube not only is already being searched all, but but it's also the searches from YouTube end up on Google, right? Google yeah. will pick up those videos and shit like that. So let's say you name a hundred of your videos that you put up in like three days, um, Jacksonville Fitness Trainer hyphen how to do a push up, Jacksonville Fitness Trainer how to do a jump squat, Jackson, and so forth. You do it a hundred yeah. times. So a bunch of small videos. Oh yeah, do like thirty second, one minute videos and go after just pure oversaturation of the market. You're going to put up a hundred videos in the course of a week or less, and you will just dominate. Now, what's, what may take time is for Google to pick up those videos. Generally, that takes like a month or so yeah. from, from my experience, sometimes a little less, but about a month. Um, but then you start dominating YouTube for sure, but then you really start dominating Google, and you start churning it out. So if you're a local business, YouTube is your best weapon, especially if you're not already on Google. YouTube's your best weapon. It's the fastest yeah. way to get on it. And then if, like, let's say, you know, I'm on YouTube and I get some, you know, bigger clients, top dollar clients, and right. that, is there a different strategy that I need to use with approaching, you know, bigger clients towards just like a, a smaller, cheaper client? Yeah. Or well, no, I mean, you may have to do more like groundwork. So you may have to send, let's say they found us on YouTube or we call them. The basis of everything for, especially for any business, but for our business especially is, it's coming down to closing them either through the phone yeah. or through our chat feature on our website or whatever so they can get our products, uh, benefit from our products, give us hopefully a testimonial that then we can put them in and help them in more ways. Yeah. Um, but but the way you got to do it is you got to just be closing people. Yeah. You know, I mean, what do you think? I mean, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Maybe on, you know, bigger clients, the follow-up process is always going to be a little bit more, you yeah. know, a big company, you're trying to reach a CEO, you might not reach him on the first call. You can't yeah. just say... Oh, all right. I gotta call this dude. I'm gonna yeah. call Warren Buffett today. Oh yeah. shit! I didn't. What's didn't the, answer. Yeah. It's not gonna you want to make it call. theatrical, yeah. man? Yeah, you got It's like it's it. gotta be yeah. Because you want to think of it like think of it like when I applied for my uh, for my sales job, yeah. I sent him a fucking bank bag. No one will ever forget yeah. my <laughs> bank bag letter in the history of time, right? So if you're gonna approach a client that's like, let's just say a uh, hundred thousand dollar client for whatever it is, you know, website design or some shit. You can, and let's say they, let, I'm just going to f- make an example up. Let's say they have a business, it's a physical business or something like that. If you know that one prospect is worth $100,000 that close, you know what I would do? I would drive by their physical business. I would take a picture with my phone. I would print the picture out. I would send them a letter and I would say, something in this picture is losing you 70% of the business. Did you guys get that down? That's I would say some shit like that because it's a real picture of their business, and if I can use their name, I would say, hey, John, something in this picture is losing you X amount of business. Can you point it out? Call me right now, and I'm going to hook you up with some shit, some shit, some shit. And then it That's pretty good. Yeah, and I, what's really cool is people will stop there. They'll be like, that's fucking amazing. I'm going to do that. <laughs> and then when no one calls back, they're going to be like, oh, I guess that shit didn't work. Now, here's the second part that most people don't do. They don't follow up the day later and say, hey, John, did you get my, this is Carlos. I sent you a letter in the mail uh, a day or two ago. Did you get it? Oh, great. I was just following up to see if you got it. You know, I didn't get your call back. I sent that to a couple of other people. Everybody's calling me back. I just want to know what was up. Right? You're losing fucking X amount of yeah. business, and I have the answer. Why didn't you call back? So now I'm the one who's taking charge of this phone. I'm following up with him. I'm the one who's saying, you got my mail. There's a point of reference. You got my mail. For sure you read it because I made it so theatrical and like 
amazing. Like I put it in a big FedEx box because people will open a FedEx box. They may throw away a U.S. Post yeah. Office direct mail letter. Yeah. You send it to a hundred thousand dollar client, it's worth the twenty dollar FedEx box, whatever it is you're sending to them. Yeah, right. It could be a big deal. Yeah. You know, you so you know. just gotta know your ROI, but the process is still the same. I mean, you just follow up till they buy or die. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna loop us right back one more time for the YouTube videos. Yeah. I, know I had another question that I forgot to get in there. Uh, you know, this guy wanted to know how would he structure his YouTube videos right. if he's in, like, say, real estate or you know, a high market that's already monopolized. You know, everybody's yeah. in it. How does he stand out? How is he going to How do you know, stand out from everything for YouTube? What you want to be able to do is you don't want to be um, just on YouTube. The key is get on YouTube and you're going to have to look at, let's say your top competitor has a thousand videos on YouTube. Generally, those thousand videos are put up over a course of like three or four years. They're not constant. constant. Yeah. You can put up a hundred videos a day and kick ass. 30 second videos a day. Some people find that amazing. Oh my God. Yeah. You can do a hundred videos in like two hours. Guaranteed. It's unbelievable. Yeah. We've done it. You just gotta go. You just gotta go. Now that's one part of it. After you do that, what you want to be able to do is go ahead and send them letters, send them mails, send newsletters out, put banner ads. If they're oversaturating the market in one arena, it's time to oversaturate the market in all arenas yeah. and just fucking flank them. Yeah, you so know what I'm saying? Multiple keywords, yeah. also Facebook, Twitter, all those, everything, yeah. not just, just because YouTube and Google are the top two doesn't mean I don't focus on, you know, all the 10 different. Yeah, exactly. Things. So, um, get on it guys, stay tuned, we got tons more episodes. We have a whole bunch of shit coming up. Stay, stay tuned. cranked up. Catch you guys on the next episode.